How's it going guys? Alex here. Welcome back to another Doki Mattel video and there is going to be no green screen today unfortunately but I hope you guys are having a great day as always and if you do enjoy today's video consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new and of course today I am going to be showing off the Tech Candy Vegito if you don't know what he does. He is basically a very good unit for Super Battle Royale. He doesn't have too many uses outside of that granted if you want a tank but he isn't necessarily a tank just someone that can evade damage so i suppose in the way he is a tank but his leader skill gives a seven percent attack and defensive boost per key orb obtained causes supreme damage with a red chance to start with which, uh, which is around 15 percent and of course if you have a look at his passive when it comes back crowned i can go ahead and show you what he actually does so high chance to evade enemies attacks including super attacks and he also disables enemies guard that isn't like anything crazy like um effectiveness against all type that's just simply lowering defense to zero and of course he does recover health with the candy orbs his links are more than meets the eye shocking speed over in a flash power story by god in fighter and supreme power so basically the link set that the physical super vegeto should have had but for some reason didn't but yeah let's go ahead and jump straight into the events that we are going to be taking on today i'm curious to see how much he actually dodges and of course is he worth the orbs well no that's the wrong series was he worth the grind that's the one i'm talking about was he worth the grind we are going to find out like without a doubt he is definitely going to be a phenomenal unit when it comes to the um uh, let's go here when it comes to the um uh well what we're trying to think about the new mode super battle Roy. that is the mode i was thinking about and i low-key want to awaken all of my units now just to see how much health this team has because my bardock isn't awakened i'm not even using like a proper fourth or sixth unit which of course is candy vegeto my gogeta is unawakened you know what? I'm, I'm gonna do it i'm gonna go ahead and awaken a few more units just to see how much health I actually have with this team. Because with my unawakened team, for the most part, I have, like, just over 300,000 health, which is absolutely insane. And it's only going to be um, getting higher. Especially with the introduction of... I'm trying to think of who. Have they introduced a new tech type lead? I don't think they have. I'm, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Of course, we have Ella Black and Zamasu, who's the 90% lead, but wouldn't necessarily fit that well in his team. Have they released a new tech legendary rare? I don't think they have. Uh, I'm trying to think. I am probably missing someone really obvious. Has there been a tech type 90% lead or a category lead apart from Gogeta? I don't think there has. There hasn't been a villain one for sure. So we are maybe going to get a tech type one next. Gogeta definitely was a bit of a surprise for tech. And, okay, that didn't take him out, which definitely was a bit of a surprise. And we kind of have the best possible setup here, but going to have to get rid of it to show off the candy Vegito. And he is stunned, to be fair. He is stunned. So this is actually completely irrelevant. Wow. Um, well, that kind of sucks because I wanted to get super attacked. But let's have a look at his super attack animation. 150,000 super attack 10, not bad. And I suppose he has a pretty cool super attack animation. 86k though. Yeah, Candy Vegito honestly is going to be the hardest thing. So I've seen a few 100% ones and I kind of wanted to show one off but I never got the opportunity to. But I would imagine that at 100% uh, he maybe hits for around 300k. Maybe that because obviously with the crits he is going to be hitting pretty hard. But I don't know. I suppose if I ever manage to find another 100% one I will go ahead and show him off. But again, his main use isn't to hit hard. His main use is to go ahead and obviously just dodge the majority of the hits that come against you. Which again, is going to be Super Clutch for Super Battle Road. And you can farm him on JP, right? I definitely want to try that out. I definitely want to try that out. And if I'm not mistaken, the mode actually comes back tomorrow because of the time zones in Japan, obviously, here. So I'm definitely going to try uh, Candy Vegito out once that event comes back. And I'm curious to see how good he actually is for that event because i was about to be like let's just wait for it to come to global boy i don't need for it to come back to global because i can just use it on jp and i tend to forget that majority of the um special events that global gets are also on jp we have the um Elo goku in the last slot which is perfectly fine let's go with this okay how many hits can we dodge it is a high chance to evade the attacks as well oh okay i get super attacks first or i'm going to super attack first i should say here we go i actually love that super attack animation it's pretty cool okay we didn't dodge that one can we got oh my god can we dodge the super attack please 
And there we go. That is why Caddy Vegito is legit going to be so damn clutch for this new mode. I'm, well, I'm actually pretty excited to use him now. My tech team isn't by any means the greatest because I don't have the Go Tech that Super Attack 10. I do have the Goku at Super Attack 10. I don't have Go. Well, I do have Gogeta online. I don't have LR Bardock. I don't have LR Go. See what I mean? I'm just like all over the place. I have said LR Bardock so many times now. It's actually ridiculous. Not LR Bardock. LR Goku. I do not have LR Goku. So I don't have the greatest tech type team by any means. But it will be interesting to see how clutch the um, you know Tech Vegito actually comes in. Clutch. Yeah, English. All right, here we go. See where Super Attack. 184k. I definitely need to try him awakened. So I believe I showcased him uh, when he was fully, like, maxed pre awakening. But I need to try him out with his awakening because I would imagine it's a uh, vast improvement. I mean, at the moment, he is hitting extremely hard, especially for a unit that doesn't get that much of an increase. But as soon as he awakens, that is going to be even higher. And of course, we don't get a 12k or 11k, I should say. Because Vegito over here with over and flash, which isn't the worst thing. Again, getting 12 key with Go Tanks, especially at 100%, isn't a bad thing by any means because he's still going to hit extremely hard. And he is missing out on the Fierce Battle Link here. And with a crit 495k, that's not too bad. But let's see what Vegito can do here. Can Vegito um, dodge both attacks this time? That is the big question here. Okay, he dodged one. And he dodged a second. For a moment, I was about to say he didn't dodge a second, but he dodged both. And so you can clearly see how useful he's going to be uh, going to be to that new mode. And if you have a solid tech type team, like all super attack 10, um, multiple units that can start. Okay, it doesn't have to be multiple units, but just units that can hit hard and obviously be consistent with the ceiling and such. You can see how successful a team like that could potentially be. And I think we've pretty much demonstrated how good he can be, especially during the second to last stage. But I want to see if he is capable of dodging a st uh, during a stage. Well, he can probably can. Or how many attacks he can dodge during the last stage of this event in particular. Because, of course, he's going to be attacking way more. And how many attacks? We have three attacks in the middle. So, oh, of course, he locks my candy Vegito in place. Isn't that just nice? Right. Definitely going to have to heal up here. Let's go over this. Vegito. How many attacks can you dodge? Can he dodge three in a row? That is the big question. And he can't be stunned during this stage, so I do have to be a bit careful here. To be fair, considering how the first battle link isn't active here, he is hitting pretty damn hard. Okay, with a crit, maybe not so hard, but he's still doing what he can. Like, can we get the three in a row? It's a high chance, and he can evade super attacks. Okay, that's one. Okay, that, that one hit, but two out of three. That wasn't too bad. Two out of three. Definitely not bad by any means, especially because he can counter super attacks. Okay, not counter, but dodge super attacks. 111k, that is terrible. Oh, dear. Well, at least we know that he, um, that he can pretty much dodge every single attack consistently. And, oh, okay, I almost died there. Definitely ha gonna have to be a bit more careful with that. I'm gonna have to heal up here. And that was actually my last healing item. Well, because I don't necessarily want to die here, I'm going to use a Ghost Usher. And let's see what LR Goku can do here. And grab these. There we go. I'm actually going to try to make such a sick team if I ever manage to pull specific units when it comes to tech. Honestly, I think tech's an underrated type. I don't know if it's because of the Super Saiyan 3 Goku or whatever, but I do feel like the, uh, tech is definitely pretty underrated. Or maybe it's not underrated. Maybe it's just me saying that because I don't really use it as much as I used to. I definitely think uh, think Tex is one of the funner teams to run with particular units. Right, now Candy Vegito is back. Am I seriously going to... Oh, I can't even use another healing item. I can't even use another healing item. Damn it. Like, can I stop the effect? Wow, that actually did happen. That just happened. My well, Vegito is now going to be in the last slot, which is not what I wanted. Well, I think I've pretty much showcased him properly. I mean, he is a pretty solid unit for what he is. When it comes to Super Battle Road, he is without a doubt going to be a phenomenal unit just because he can pretty much dodge everything consistently. And because of how many attacks are situated in just one area, Vegito is honestly going to be phenomenal. I think I pretty much made my point. Was he worth the grind? He definitely was. I'm going to try him out as soon as I can on JP, like I stated many times in the video. 
But I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you all in the next one.